when the parody hack happened, well, this ha ha hack happened, what did you, what went through your mind? Is this around the time when you were developing the multi-sig? Uh, so there was no, both hacks actually happened after we developed the multi-sig already. And of course, if you hear that uh, a multi-sig was hacked, then, well, I can tell you the adrenaline <laughs> goes up because <laughs> it's not clear if it was yours or it was another one. Oh, man. But uh, so far, it was always not ours. And by now, like so many people have reviewed our code and so much funds are stored in our multisig that uh, it can be assured that this is a secure solution. Um, but yeah, when I, when I heard about the hack of the wall, of course, that's always frightening. And independently, if it's ours or, or theirs, it's always, yeah, it's always uh, yeah, a small tragedy for, of course, all the projects that are affected. Um, and yeah, I think, I think those, we just have to be better in preventing this in the first place. So we have to find better ways to make sure our contracts are actually secure, better ways of engineering, better ways of reviewing code. Uh, I think the whole community learned a lot from those examples. And that's why I think also we haven't had any like bigger security breach any time recently because people are much more aware of the issues and if a team like Parity, which is uh, excellent in in terms of execution and uh, yeah and knowledge, can have such issues, then anyone can. Um, but I think also everyone learned from this mistake, not only Parity but everyone, and that's why we are confident uh, that we can provide more secure solutions by now. Uh, for the notice safe, we're even aiming for formal verification. It's still something we are looking into. So ideally, we can even do this step where we formally specify exactly how the behavior uh, of the notice safe is supposed to be, and then we can validate this uh, using formal verification. Yeah. It always uh, makes me feel uneasy, a little slightly uneasy when people talk about smart contract development as if it's rocket science. <laughs> I think there was a point when it was rocket science because there weren't tools. But after you get the tools and after you get the best practices in place, right. then everyday person can actually use it. Like you said, like formal verification. Yes, it's a very specific area, but I think we're past that stage where it was maybe a buzzword. And I, I would also say it's not rocket science, that's for sure. Um, however, it's still... I think the main issue that we have is that there are still like very few programming languages that you can use. And if you are a beginner, then some of the semantics might not be straightforward to understand. And that's why it's prone to errors. And that's why if you want to build something that should be used in production, you ha still have to have a lot of experience in doing this. And you should always try to do code reviews, especially of code that you believe will hold a lot of value in the end.